How's it going guys? Panorama here back with another video. This video is will be a short little video. Uh, I've been <laughs> I've been meaning to make some BC content. I just I've been grinding hard to get level 70 on my rogue. Um, but I finally did it uh, about last week and now I'm I'm farming Prebis to start doing twos and threes and doing arena. Um, I want to make this video. It's a little like a uh, in introduction on how to basically get ready for twos, like twos for dummy and how to get into arena if that's what you're into. Personally, I don't really give a fuck about killing Illidan, you know, I, I give a fuck about, like, 5k eviscerating, you know, a cloth wear, you know, uh, th that, that's what I play the game to do. Uh, so in this video, we'll be going over basically step by step what you need to do as, uh, as any class, and the class doesn't matter, is this what you need to do, uh, in order to achieve, you know, Ventral Gladiator, or just achieve the bare minimum to get into Arena. So, step number one, you want to hit level 70. Uh, you want to hit level 70 as fast as you can and try not to leave zones until every single quest has been done. The reason why you want to do that is because y you're going to be farming rep anyways for the keys so you can do heroic dungeons. Uh, heroic versions of dungeons. You cannot get into, the, into heroic dungeons unless you have the keys and you get the keys through getting rep. Um, save all of your gold you do through questing to get your either, either your epic writing mount um, or your just normal flying mount. Um, and then try to do dungeons if possible. Again, you're going to be... Every, everything about BC is rep. If I could stress anything to you, to you guys that are watching, uh, rep is the most important thing in BC. You're going to be using it for everything. You're going to be using it for gear, enchants, everything. Keys, like I said, to do heroics. Um, uh, uh, once you hit level 70, you want to be doing... Dun uh, you want to be doing these dungeons um, in any order. Like, the order doesn't really matter, but these specific dungeons you want to be doing because they're the easiest when you're pre-70 with just quest gear. And um, you're going to need all this rep anyways to get, like I said, to get keys for heroic dungeons. So, for the first one, you're going you're gonna to want to do Hellfire Ramparts Normal. Um, obviously, you can't do heroic because you don't have it, but um, Hellfire Ramparts, you want to be doing that because you'll be getting the because you'll be getting the PvP hands. That's the reason why you want to do Hellfire Ramparts. You do that until Honored. Hellfire, uh, uh, th basically, it's Thralmar rep. Thralmar rep is probably one of the easiest ones to get because um, it's one of the first starting zones. So you're going to be doing every single quest there and you're going to be getting all of the uh, rep from the quest. So that's super helpful to do. Um, uh, secondly will be the head, um, which is from Steam Vault, which is Scenarian rep. S Steam Vault is super simple if you have a good group. Um, if you play on a PvP per, uh, PvP server, this shit might be a little bit more difficult to do, but it, it, it's all it's all doable. Um, you're gonna go Steam Vaults for the head. Basically, you're gonna be doing all the quests there, um, which is Zangra Marsh. You're gonna be doing all the quests in Zangra Marsh to get the Steam Vault rep or Scenarian Circle rep, and then Steam Vault to finish it out. Um, next, you're gonna be doing Se uh, Sethic Halls, which is lower city rep to do the chests. Uh, excuse me, to get the chest. Um, Sethic Halls is pretty simple. Again, all these are very simple if you have, if you did all the quests and you have, um, like decent gear from, from quest or, you know, maybe so you guys are looking on some world drops. So for this next one, you're gonna have a little bit of a quest line. Um, it is Old Hillsbrad into Black Morass. So, the way you can even get into, um, Black Morass is you have to start by doing Old Hillsbrad. The way you start by doing Old Hillsbrad is you talk to a, a dragon in the Keepers of Time. And then you just fly down there and you do Old Hills Brad. This this will get you rep for the Keepers of Time, and the, these uh, you need this rep to get the PVP shoulders. Um, if you're a rogue like me, um, a lot of your actually your Prebis trinkets and sword uh, will be in Black Morass. So you're going to be uh, Black Morass is, is a rogue's dream. You're going to be in there for a, like a pretty while, so you should have no problem getting the sh getting the rep to get the shoulders. Um, Okay, so for the last one, this one is very controversial. Um, personally, I will not be doing this, and I didn't do it on the on a private server on Endless. Um, it is uh, Alcatraz to get Shatar rep for the PvP legs. Personally, I wouldn't do that because um, if, if you just hit level seventy and you're just doing all of this, you you might you might not have enough gold to have a flying mount just yet, and you need a flying mount to go to Alcatraz and get the shatar rep you need to fly him out for that so personally i recommend getting the hands head chest and, sh and shoulders uh and then going and just farming worse on gulch rathy basin eye of the storm um all that type of stuff because you're gonna need the honor anyways and you're gonna need the um tokens tokens uh so but this is a guide on how to get it all your previous so therefore you will go to alcatraz and you're gonna be spamming alcatraz and you're gonna be doing all of the quests quest in nether storms to get rep four um, Shatar. Uh, there's, there's also in, 
uh, excuse me, in Shatra, there's also a vendor where you could turn in rep tokens too. There as well for more Shatar rep. So that's another way you can get it. Um, and then, so let's say that you got all your, all this Priebus, um, uh, swords, like, like weapons or whatever. You get those from um, you can get those from vendors as well for uh, reps. So I'm not really going over like a, like a specific class. I'm just going over in general uh, what to go for. Um, like, like I said, rogues. I know a little bit. More, I know a little bit more about them. You're going to be in Black Morass getting the swords and the trinkets. Uh, for rings, again, you can get that from a PVP vendor. All that stuff. This is just like the like a, like the set. Previous. So for step three, once you have Previous, it will be much easier to join a, join slash host a pre-made. So the reason why you're, you're you're going for any of this shit is resilience. In classic WoW, none of you guys are really used to resilience unless you played back in the day. Like to dumb it down, it makes you more bulkier, uh, a lot more hard to fucking just one shot, right? So all of this gear has resilience, and uh, your most important gear will have resilience on it. Once you go higher up in the arena chain, but this is just previous on how to get into and like get your foot in the door to do arenas, right? Um, so once you once you have this gear, you're gonna be able to host and join uh, pre made lot easier because people are gonna see that you have gear. You don't just have fucking quest greens, um, and it makes it a little bit easier to farm honor and BG tokens for your S uh, your season three set once you start PVPing. Uh, first aid is a fucking must. If you don't have first aid at max level by this time, you you will definitely want it. Uh, alchemy is also a good, because uh, obviously you can use the pots or whatever, uh, but engineering is usually the go-to. I would have engineering because you can have the goggles, the... Uh, the quad death blow x44 goggles actually really fucking good if you don't want to do the rep for the helmet so you either you can go with engineering and use this um it's a, it's a little bit better but you're gonna end up replacing it anyways uh th th these goggles you're gonna end up replacing them anyways um so now you have your full previous set you're able to start joining pre-maids. You have your first aid good to go. You have your engineering good to go. So you, now you can host pre-maids, join pre-maids, and you should be good to go. Um, I will be making another video on what to do after this step, but I just want to make this little beginner step like like video on how to put your foot in the door to, to getting into arenas, you know, running twos and, and threes and fives even with your friends. Um, that's basically it though. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, my, my Twitch will be in the description. We got new emotes, new sub badges. Everything's looking fresh, 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 fresh. If you guys have any questions, come by the stream. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, still like it. Um, uh, if you like I said, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments or anything. Um, but yeah, it's been Panda, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.